you know, sometimes you just collect things, you think you're gonna use them eventually, you end up never using them, they just become cluttered, just become in the way, and then it becomes like, what do I do? How do I get rid of this stuff? Where do I take it? I found a solution for that. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris, and those of you guys that watch the channel all the time, you already know who I am. I just wanted to tell you guys, this is pretty amazing. I, I got this pile of wood scraps here, a couple of old fence posts I took out whenever I put in my double gates and uh, you know about four foot of chain link fence there and then the rest of it's just wood scrap. It's an old wood fence that was taken down and it was in my aunt's house. Uh, she had passed away. We were cleaning up her property and I thought you know I might be able to use that stuff so I told them just bring it over here and we, we put it right here. That's been a couple of years ago and I just haven't found a use for it. I mean there's there's usable wood in here. I mean it's it's good. I just haven't been able to find a, a use for it for myself. I mean all the projects I have they require a different size wood you know something like that. So it's just been in the way for the past couple of years, several years, it's just been sitting here. And uh, I'm, I'm sure there's rabbits living under it. Who knows what's underneath that thing. It's just been a pain to kind of mow around. I finally decided, you know, I need to get rid of that, but good grief, you know, I'll get a trailer, load it up, take it to a dump or whatever. That's gonna cost it quite a bit. So I ended up just snapping a picture of it, posting it on a Facebook marketplace saying, hey, Whoever wants it, come and get it. As long as you take it all, there's a couple of usable fence posts, whatever in here, you can take it, just take it all. And it wasn't 30 minutes, I got a message from somebody. I got three people actually that are interested in coming and getting this whole pile of scrap wood. So here in about an hour or two, this should be gone. We'll see if they actually show up or not, but uh, that's the plan anyway. On another note, I got all this cane, this like river cane stuff here that it came from my neighbor. My neighbor's an older guy. He was um, in the hospital not too long ago. Didn't break his hip, but he pulled some ligaments or something. So he was in a wheelchair for a little while, then on a walker, and he's you know, using a cane for a little bit. Now he's out walking around okay on his own, but he's an older guy. Um, he, he decided he wanted to cut down all this cane. He grows it in his backyard. He cut it all down and uh, was looking at bundling it up, trying to get rid of it, couldn't figure out what to do. I said, hey, just throw it back there. I'll take care of it. I'll, I'll either burn it or you know something. There's a whole bunch more outside his fence because he was hauling it out here and I could tell he was struggling with it. And it's like, you know, you don't need to be doing all this stuff. He, an older guy that just, I mean, when I say older, he's probably close to 80. Um, maybe he's not that old. Hopefully he's not watching this and he's not offended by that. But real nice guy, just a friendly guy. I do what I can to help him out when I can. He didn't need to be working that hard. So I told him, just throw it over your fence if you want to, because those are back in my back lot. I'll collect it all up and I'll take care of it. I'll either burn it or something. So I'm trying to figure out a use for this stuff. I made a trellis or two for my wife for uh, some of her plants that she wanted to trellis, just simple, you know, tied it up with some string and whatnot. I made a kind of a waddle fence. I'll take you inside and show you that. Thinking of toying about the idea of using that for the brooder box because you know, the brooder box that I've got in there made out of my old truck bed. If you guys have been watching the videos, you'll see it here in a minute. If not, um, you know, I, I duct taped all that cardboard up there. Well, the duct tape's not holding very well. The cardboard's starting to fall down. So I'm thinking I got to do something else, either put a screw through the, the truck bed and hold that stuff in place or something. So I toyed about making these, uh, I don't know if you know what a waddle fence is, a hurdle fence, you know, so I'm not sure of that. Anyway, I made one of those panels stuck it in there, it might actually work. So I may go ahead and do that with the rest of them. I'm just leaving it in there for a little while, just kind of toying with it and, and uh, just deciding if that's what I want to do or not. I'll take you in there, we'll show you that real quick. But I can't figure out the rest of what I'm gonna do with this stuff, I'm just gonna burn it. It just seems like such a waste. It seems like there should be a use for it somewhere. You know, I could make uh, tomato cages or something out of it, but I don't need them. I've got tomato cages already. Um, I don't really need any more trellises for anything and make pretty good trellises, easy to do. So I don't know, if you got a great idea on how to use up some cane, let me know in the comments down below because I haven't figured out exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet. I may just end up burning it, but it just seems like kind of a waste to let it go. We'll see. Let me take you in and show you what I built in the, uh, the brooder box. So it made a decent little hurdle. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'll do that with the rest of it. Just build two more, or well, three more, I guess it is for the ends and uh, box it in that way. We'll see. All right, so this is the brooder box here. Like I said, I had all this cardboard set up here and taped up, but it, the tape's not holding up. It's, it's not sticking very well, so it's all falling down. And uh, I'm trying to figure out a different solution for this and something that's free or pretty easy to do. And I got kind of creative today and decided, like I said, I built this uh, hurdle out of here. Let me bring you around the other side. We'll show you what it looks like. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it. I can't get back far enough to show the whole thing in one shot, but this is it. I mean, it's a pretty simple concept. 
Um, it's got these uprights, you know, every, I don't know, I think they're 13 inches. And then you just weave the, the rods in between. Um, every once in a while you leave one a little bit long, bend it over and wrap it back around. That's kind of what holds the whole thing together. Um, that might actually work, I don't know, but it does have some pretty big gaps in it. I'm a little concerned that um, if I use that, chicks are gonna get up in the inside of that, maybe get stuck up in there or something like that. So I don't know that that's gonna work. I mean, this is stuff that's traditionally used for like sheep fencing and stuff like that, but I'm not so sure it's a great idea to use in my brooder box. So who knows, maybe I'll scrap that idea. I just didn't wanna waste the, uh, the cane. Like I said, I wanted to find a use for it. And then this is the uh, simple trellis I made for my wife. It's just square lashings, just lash these on there. A little triangle, you stick it into the ground, you'll be able to tie things to it. It's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's not gonna fall apart. You know, it's just good old Boy Scout knots. Square lashings on each one of these things, tied together, just simple, uh, nothing big. I don't really need a whole bunch of these or I'd make a whole bunch of them. Um, you know, the cane works great for that. Uh, no reason not to use it for that. I just, like I said, I can't figure out what else to use it for. So. I'm open for ideas if you guys got any. Well, it's gone. He came and picked it all up. He said he could put it to some use. Some of it he's probably just gonna end up burning because some of it was in pretty bad shape, but he was happy to get it. Needed the fence post that I had there. So uh, I'm glad it could go to use. Seemed like a really nice guy. And uh, I'd rather some other, somebody that's gonna be able to use it, get the stuff, than just burning it or, or you know whatever. So got a little bit of work to do here to clean up the ground, but it's not that bad. Just, uh, I don't know, maybe run the tiller over it, rake it all out level, and uh, a few little scraps here. I told him not to worry about, I'd clean those things up, but it's all stuff I can throw in the trash can or whatever. So saved me a whole lot of hassle and uh, helped him out. So it was a win-win situation. So now, Sunday afternoon, like I said, I've been so busy here lately, I haven't had time to respond to any comments or even really shoot much video. But I got this video done and it is time, Sunday evening actually, time for me to go fire up the barbecue grill, get dinner cooked. I'm a little bit hungry. So uh, I will catch you guys hopefully Thursday evening on the live broadcast. God bless each and every one of you and thank you for watching. I got that backwards from normal, but anyway, you get it. Take care.